In San Francisco, one high school teenager is facing a major adult decision. He's fighting eviction to try to stay in the home that he's lived at for most of his life. Night Beats Mark Sayer with more on his complicated legal battle. The teen lives here at the Valencia Gardens Complex at Valencia and 15th Streets. He says just a few days after his grandmother died last month, an eviction notice was posted on his front door. You stand strong. Terrence Hall has lived here in this two-bedroom unit with his grandmother for the past 13 years. So when his grandmother, Patricia Harrison, died on February 17th at 70 years old, Hall was not expecting to have to leave. So I just really been thinking about a stuff that I got to do in order for me to keep it, keep this house. So I've just been on a good path. Hall has been to several court hearings where lawyers for the property management company say there was a history of crime in the unit that warrants eviction. But attorneys for Hall say he was a minor at the time and not involved in the alleged crimes. A judge this week ruled that Terrence could stay, at least for now. But none of this stuff has to do nothing with me, so why should I leave? But that leaves Terrence not knowing what's next, and he says the stress has caused him to miss school, and he's having trouble focusing. Can't focus at all. It's just every time I think about those situations and all the stuff, tragedy, it's just I don't want to be there. Hall says his goal now is to finish school, play sports again, and get to work. But for now, his future at the only home he has ever known is in the hands of the legal system. On the Night Beat in San Francisco, I'm Mark Sayer. In a statement, the managers of Valencia Gardens tells us tonight that they pursue evictions only as a last resort and only when necessary to protect the safety and the rights of the other residents of a property. And they go on to say that they have been working to find more appropriate housing for Hall and offered to provide a hotel during the transition. Meanwhile, a hearing on the matter is scheduled for Tuesday.